Thanks, Alex. In 1859, a little-known raid by John Brown helped propel America into the Civil War. Author Tony Horwitz captures the drama behind this mission that changed the course of history in his newest book, Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that Sparked the Civil War. Our own Becky Anderson talks with the New York Times bestseller and Pulitzer Prize winner in this week's edition of Authors Revealed. Welcome to Authors Revealed, I'm Becky Anderson. I am so excited, one of my favorite nonfiction writers is here. It's Tony Horowitz, Pulitzer Prize winner and New York Times bestselling author of Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that Sparked the Civil War. Tony, welcome to Naperville and Anderson's. Thanks for having me. It's so pleasure. great to have you here. And this is the paperback tour for yeah. Midnight Rising. So the book's the book was originally out over a year ago in hardcover, right? Or October? Last, last October. October. Yeah. Last October in hardcover. So what, what has been the response now that the year it's a year is almost up and mm -hmm. the book has been out in the world? Mm -hmm. but, the, but the response of your readers, because you have mm -hmm. a lot of followers who have right. read all your previous books, but those, say those of historians and those mm -hmm. who maybe have those, those Civil War fans or yeah. rabid fans, yeah. what's been the reaction of the book? Well, uh, you know, John Brown is a, a figure who evokes yeah. strong emotions. No uh, he's, you know, perhaps the most polarizing figure in our history. Yeah. There really is no middle ground. So I find uh, uh, some people writing me and saying you were too hard on the guy and others yeah. saying you were too soft on him. He's a monster. Um, you really yeah. get a, a strong reaction. Uh, but uh, most readers at least have enjoyed reading it, yeah. even if they haven't always agreed with me. Yeah. You know, in 1995, you won the Pulitzer for, mm -hmm. for national uh, reporting mm -hmm. uh, for the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. And you did it on working conditions in low-wage America. Mm -hmm. What was it like to win that prize? And was it, that mm -hmm. must have been pretty amazing. Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was, yeah. you know, pretty much out of the blue. I was 35, so, you know, uh, seems young now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was a thrill. Yeah. It, it was interesting because I was actually on leave from the paper working on Confederates in the Attic really? at the oh, time. So, uh, you're, you're so I was kind of out of journalism at the time. <laughs> and I get yeah. this nice award. Yeah. I think in retrospect, it, um, it gave me the confidence and perhaps okay. the freedom to pursue my book writing career more. It's yeah. a nice little plaudit to have. Sure. And uh, I think it, it's, you know, because leaping into book writing is a full-time profession. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, can be challenging. Yeah, You're kind of letting sure. go of your safety net of a right. day job, uh, and I think maybe it, it helped me uh, okay. help me do I was, that. Yeah, I was wondering if it did. Oh, thanks. Tony, thank you so much, and thanks for coming and, and sitting down and talking with me. And we love Midnight Rising. Right? Oh, thank you. It's a delight to be here. Wow, what a great conversation we just had with Tony Horowitz and his new book. It's Midnight Rising: John Brown and the Raid That Sparked the Civil War. Back to you, Jen. Thanks, Becky. If you're interested in the full interview with Tony Horowitz, visit our website at nctv17.com for a list of airtimes.